Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of Cruel and Beautiful, Eye of the Dragon, Rabbit Hole, and King Dio. It's almost like a DSP thing with Nick Ricada now, isn't it? Like, it feels like this guy says completely retarded things on stream all the time, and yet most people miss it because of just how often this guy uploads. Just how many streams this guy does a week, how many hours of just him just rambling into the microphone, like going into like way too much detail about his personal life and things like that. It's only... It was only going to be a matter of time until people started like asking some very, very good questions about his personal life. Uh, I myself have been like kind of curious about like the ins and outs of like the Ricada household and stuff like that. Like, uh, some like some uh, how they how the relationship plays out like behind uh, how the relationship between Nick and his wife play out behind the scenes. I, I have been morbidly curious, and uh, I I'm not the only one. Uh, I I've seen a lot of speculation lately. That Nick Ricada is in fact a cuckold. That the reason his big black bullfriend Drexel is over at his house all the fucking time is to bang his wife while he streams like Skyrim or whatever, like LARPing as a Nord supremacist. Like, again, there's like there, there are a lot of red flags when it comes to like Ricada and just his channel in general. Right, like I talked a little bit about like his inability to accurately predict case results, like um, how how um, how cases proceed, things like that, um, things that demonstrate his lack of ability as a lawyer. I've seen like uh, I've mocked his like political commentary, his political views, his ideas on uh, police in particular, and um, I think more and more I, I'm going after like his uh, his views on uh, social issues and. And uh, the relationship between men and women, and, and things like that. Um, like, I think people need to pay more attention to who they're giving money to on YouTube. I think people need to pay more attention to what Nick is saying, and and uh, really, really think about it. Like, really, really think about like the things he's like, the ideas he's really pushing onto you, because like a lot of it is really really toxic and and degenerate right uh and and i think one of the things that that really sticks out to me you know about nick and, and the reason I, i'm making this video actually is his bizarre fascination with like the cuckold lifestyle right like it like more than anything else i think when it comes to this uh to this online sphere like Riketa has been like really really focused on like talking about Cucks like talking about like liberals and like uh, their inability to like control their women and like you know swing culture and things like that like uh, making videos on like uh, there was a show they talked about like extreme love uh, uh, things that things they talk about like uh, pushing this narrative that it's like widespread that it's prevalent that like uh, everyone's doing it or something and that like uh, only the only the based and red pill are are able to like bang. <laughs> are able to bang relate uh, women and have relationships. It's just, it it is like it, it's kind of nonsense. It, it's pandering to Meg Tao, um, pandering to incels. Like it's not real. Like it, it's an exaggeration. Like it's not it's not a real thing. Not to the extent that they they present it as like something that like everyone is fucking doing. That every woman is out cheating all the fucking time. While like the husband is at home jacking off the point, it's uh, it, it, it's ridiculous, right? Uh, but the thing that like really interested me about the topic, in particular, is just is just how much like Nick fixates on it, like as a topic, like just just calling everyone cucks, like inter everyone he interacts with, uh, bringing it up all the time, like always, like uh, talking about like individuals and like uh, whether or not they are cucks. And, and it's kind of to the point where, like, me, myself, and people like me, right, um, are honestly starting to suspect that, like, Nick has some kind of bizarre fixate, like, interest in the lifestyle. Like, whether or not that, like, includes, like, pursuing himself, like, literally being a cuck, uh, I, I'm not quite sure. I would lean towards no. Because uh, Nick is, like, actually very, very upfront about, like, really embarrassing stuff in his personal life. That, that's actually a big reason why I think he doesn't have more detractors 
is that like he's always like pretty upfront about like yeah I don't yeah I uh, <laughs> yeah I was on a cheerleading team yeah I uh, yeah I role played as uh, as Ranger Nord Spencer in Skyrim on stream like yeah I uh, uh, yeah I'm friends with like a big black bull and that's that's okay like like things like that right like just um, like passing off like the really bizarre aspects of his personal life as like being relatively normal right like oh yeah yeah i i know white supremacists that's that's a perfectly normal thing like hi well it's kind of funny that like this white supremacist i know had a crush on like a a half jewish woman a, a, like who the fuck just casually just throws that out there like oh yeah by the way i i know a white supremacist like what what is he talking about who the fuck just casually just like yeah uh, I, I know white supremacists like uh, that's what they do is that they just pass off like this weird shit as if it's uh, as if it's normal uh, the thing about this though uh, is, is that Nick Ricada I think um is kind of reaching the point where, where like, detractors are, start, are starting to kind of, like, catch on to the things that, like, really, uh, really bother him, kind of, like, grind his gears a little bit. I don't believe he's literally a cuck, but, like, with the way things are going, the way that, like, uh, certain people are kind of, like, uh, pushing this, uh, seeing people, like, send him super chats and, like, have, uh, have Drexel on stream, like, defending him. Uh, Drexel always does, like, damage control for Nick on stream, by the way. He, he does it all the time. This isn't the first time, like, he's gone to bat for Nick and, like, defended, like, his, uh, his credibility and stuff like that. Um, I, I don't know, like, we are, I think we are gonna see Nick Rikita, like, uh, start to turn on his audience a little bit. We are gonna see a little bit of friction there. And I'm really curious how this is going to proceed, right? Like, I, I'm very, I'm very curious... Uh, whether or not people are going to start calling out Nick on his shit more and more. Because, like, I certainly am. I, I have been for, like, at least seven months. Um, you know, PPP has uh, probably for longer, right? Um, he's done a couple of videos talking about uh, Rakeda and his grifting nature. Uh, I'm sure there are other people. It, it's not something that's, like, really, really widespread or prevalent yet because it's not really an issue. Because uh, I, don't, I don't think most people are spending, like, five hours a day watching Nick Ricada, like, fumble his way through <laughs> through case documents and try to present the narrative that, like, oh, yeah, v Vic's gonna win the case, guys. Like, nobody's doing that. Like, uh, Ricada, in a way, his audience, like, is still completely enraptured with him. Like, they don't understand they're being, like, bamboozled. They're being used. Like, it's just... Uh, and it's kind of sad, but at the same time... I don't know. Like, uh, you need to move on. I, I think um, my my, uh, my my personal belief, like when it comes to this kind of thing, uh, you need to be using your money wisely. You need to be like investing it. You need to be like using it to build yourself up. You need to be using it like for your own gain to like better yourself to put yourself in an ideal position. Like, you shouldn't be wasting it on like giving super chats to this to this internet nobody <laughs> who's like. Uh, trying to give you legal advice on like celebrity cases and stuff like that. Don't do that. Like he can do it for free if he really wants to do it. Just, just don't give him money. Anyway, uh, that, that's all I wanted to say about that. Uh, it's. I am very interested in seeing just how this uh, how this situation proceeds. Uh, is Nick is the Nick Ricada a cuck? Who knows at this stage, but. Uh, it's very possible that this uh, this situation may escalate into something more.